So today I am throwing test pieces in a new white clay. This is Pottery Crafts white earthenware throwing clay, um, which seems like a nice compromise on paper, so I'm gonna give it a test. Before I do anything else, check out my awesome, the first ever official Old Boys Creations t-shirts. It's about time. From Don't Feed the Bears, who most of my t-shirts are from, anything bear related uh, will be them. And they designed this specially for me. So it's the scene from Ghost with um, the T-Rex and the bear they use in their illustrations. Uh, something we talked about a while ago and I'm glad it's finally come about. Uh, they will be up for sale doing a, a pre-order while we get the stock in for the t-shirt so um, if you want to get one they are available now and I'll do them as limited runs every now and then in a different colour at the moment we've got white, grey and a kind of mid deep blue so if you want one I'll post the links in the video description uh, they're in the limited edition page on my shop for now. If you're watching this sometime in the future, they might not be there at the moment, but they will reappear from time to time and possibly new designs in the future, but we haven't got that far yet. So this clay is a white earthenware. Its firing range is supposed to be 1080 to 1180C, which puts it up to about cone five, maybe five and a half, which is ideal for where I fire to. Um, they say that on a coarseness level it's a three out of ten, which I would say it's a bit smoother than that, but so again, because it's so smooth it feels kind of porcelain-y. It's got that same smooth elasticity to it. Uh, but it looks very white in the pictures that they've got of it. The firing range, the shrinkage, the grog, the colour and the price all look pretty good. So uh, if this is the replacement for KGM I'd be happy with that. You see the main thing is how well the pieces survive the rest of my process so I'm just going to throw a couple of mugs, a couple of tumblers and a fruit bowl and see how they get on. I would say that's as nice to throw as the other plates I've tested so far. They all throw a bit more like porcelain than the two that I'm used to, which isn't a problem um, when you're kind of in the mindset of having a slightly softer, more elastic clay. It's no big deal, but um, I never feel like you can be quite as aggressive with them. Or, I suppose. I've never felt that because I'm used to the stonewares that I'm used to. They call it an earthenware. I'm not sure what distinction ceramic suppliers are making sometimes, other than possibly how low they think it can go. Because some of the clays that they're calling earthenwares, they say are good up to cone 7, cone 8, which, so they're obviously not making it as a purely temperature distinction or maybe they are but only at the low end but there's a, there seems to be a, a lot of overlap between what manufacturers consider uh, an earthenware, a stoneware and a porcelain and this one happens to be called an earthenware but it will go to the same temperature as my glazes so I'm going to use it like that. Well, that was nice enough. I'll keep throwing the rest of the test balls that I've got lined up. Um, and 
some point I'll do a write up on all the different clays I've tested but this is my third out of the I think I've got nine lined up so I've got a way to go yet yeah.